Good morning and welcome to a very exciting day for the fire department. We're bringing on two new career firefighters to our ranks. It's always a big deal, always a big day for the fire service and certainly we hope a big deal for the two gentlemen who are joining our ranks. I'll share a little bit about them in a minute, but uh, we have a ceremony, uh, uh, a ceremony we go through to, to make this happen for these two gentlemen. And then following that, uh, there is some uh, refreshments over there. We're going to get some, uh, there's some water coming and of course take some time to kind of have fellowship and talk amongst yourselves, but uh, following that and the family and any member, anybody's willing to come or welcome to come back to Fire Station 1 for a tour. Uh, and uh, kind of see where, where we do business, at least on the south side. So uh, thank you again for being here, and with that, we'll get started. We have two gentlemen who are coming on board today. We have, uh, first, I'd like to have him stand, Eric Schmidt, and William Billy Breckel. If you guys just want to come stand up here. Give you a little bit of a bio on these two gentlemen. Eric Schmidt was raised on a grain farm in Watkins, Minnesota, and was blessed to grow up in a home with his father, Don, and, and his mother, Bev, and his two sisters, Jennifer and Julie. Eric attended Hennepin Technical College for his associate's degree in fire science. After receiving his firefighter certifications in EMT, he began volunteering with the Watkins Fire Department and the Watkins Ambulance Rescu Rescue. Eric was then hired by the Bismarck Fire Department in September of 2005 and worked there for five and a half years. While with Bismarck, Eric obtained the title of driver operator, was the treasurer of the Fire Ass Assistance Fund, and that fund was set up to help injured firefighters across the state as well as citizens that had property destroyed by fire. Um, Eric is also active as a bell ringer for the Salvation Army and has volunteered for blood drives held by the United Blood Services. While working full-time for Bismarck, Eric also worked part-time for Standing Rock Ambulance on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation. Eric at this point made the decision to further his education at Bismarck State College and earned his associates in EMT paramedic and was hired by the Red Wing Fire Department and Ambulance in 2011, where he also obtained the, the title of driver operator and captain in training. He has served on the EMS and Training Committee. Eric has volunteered for MDA and also serves at soup kitchens for the Salvation Army. Our Eric says he's blessed to have his beautiful wife, Kayla, and their three awesome sons, Avery, Gavin, and Thatcher, in his life. He enjoys hiking, kayaking, water, downhill skiing, hunting, fishing, softball, sand volleyball, golfing, spending time with family and friends, and playing cards and games. Not a lot of time for that in the first year, Eric. <laughs> So that's Eric Schmidt. We're glad to have him. William Billy Bruckel is not a new face to the city of St. Louis Park or this fire department. He has been a member of our paid on call duty crew for the past 10 years. He is a resident of St. Louis Park and his formative years were spent in Rochester. His family includes two sisters, Nora and Tracy, and their families including nieces and nephews. Billy's accreditations include an associate's degree from St. Kate at Catherine's University as a physical therapist assistant and a BA from the University of St. Thomas in Corporate Fitness Health. Billy is a sports enth enthusiast who, in his free time, can be found running, biking, and the lakes, paddle boarding, taking in a ball game, or on the links, uh, hitting a few little white balls. So that is William Billy Breckel. We go by Billy, right? Yeah. That's your preferred? Okay, great. So with that, we will start our ceremony. <clears throat> so today, Eric and Billy, these items that we present you with today are functional components of your uniform, just as, a, just as important, they are symbols steeped in years of tradition within this great service. Your badge, which will be presented to you, it's important that you understand that this badge is your permanent badge. This badge and its number, whatever your badge numbers are, are yours alone. And throughout the career here, whatever the legacy, that number will be tied to you. The badge has always been a symbol of authority. However, that does come with responsibility to its wearer to bring honor to themselves, their organization, and through unparalleled service and ethical behavior. Your helmet, which you'll receive, although part of our protective equipment, Ensemble, the fire helmet is the most recognized symbol of our fire department. 
It will protect you from the elements of nature, as well as the cruel and punishing exposures you will face during response. The history of its design, which dates back to the early 1800s, its shape, the materials it's made from, and its golden eagle are as storied as, as, storied as we hope your career here in St. Louis Park will be. The nameplate. We are always in the public eye and must understand the importance of that accountability. Your name and its attachment to this organization represent your commitment, our commitment in you and yours to us. Be accountable for your actions and understand that more people than you know will know that you're a firefighter and work for this great city. So at this time, I'd like to present you with your accoutrement, the helmet, the badge, and the nameplate from the command staff. Go ahead. And if I could have Kayla and Nora, if you'll come up to the front. We'll do the, we'll do the oath first and then we'll do the badge pinning. And Melissa Kennedy, our city clerk, to deliver the oath. Okay, Eric and Billy, if you could raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. You have a lot of stuff to hold on to, sorry. I do solemnly swear, I solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Minnesota and faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Firefighter of the City of St. Louis Park in the county of Hennepin and state of Minnesota to the best judgment to the best of my judgment and ability to the best of my judgment and ability so help me god so help me god congratulations so at this time if we'll have Eric's wife Kayla and Billy's sister Nora Go ahead and pin their badges on them. <laughs> Eric and Billy, welcome to our family. It's our hope that you enjoy this life journey as much as we do and that whatever your contributions, it will bring pride to the city of St. Louis Park, your family, and you personally. Please be safe and welcome aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eric Schmidt and Billy Bruckel to the fire department. That concludes our ceremony. Feel free to hang out, eat some uh, carbohydrate pills over there, and, um, <laughs> and drink some water. It's all good. Thank you again for making this day special for these two gentlemen.